Hi, and welcome to the Home Engineers channel again. Today, what I'm going to be showing you is how I set up a indexing head or dividing head if it's vertically positioned on the table. It's very straightforward. There's no clocking up involved. And all you need is a piece of, uh, I use high speed steel um, ground bar because I know that it's nice and true and straight, but you can use any piece of um, stock as long as you know it's true and it'll fit into your chuck. So I simply pop it into the chuck. And then bring it, centralize it over the, the table. So it's gonna be uh, locked down. Clamp down the jaws onto it, making sure that all the jaws are totally clean because obviously any swarf in there will give you a, 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 an error. Now, as you can see, it's not actually, I don't think you see it on the video, but the T slots aren't actually lined up. So all you then need to do is wind it over in your Y axis until the T slots line up. Pop the T nuts in. Rub your head in the spanner. <sighs> Clamp it down. That is still held in the chuck. Uh, what I then do is I then set my DRO to zero. Um, I can set my dials to zero if, if, if I wanted to. And that now means the spindle has to be exactly over center of the chuck um, and any job you put in there because the jaw is going to be going in and out and clamping the work exactly the same place it has to be um, concentric to the indexing head okay very short video hopefully you'll find that um, helpful and thank you for watching if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe um, to my channel thank you